Welcome to Kama Jojo Wild World. Find praise you love here and desired outdoors equipment in our website. If this is your first visit to our channel, you can subscribe to us. During the colder months, a deer's coat turns a dark brown or gray, allowing it to soak up more heat from the sun. So, their coat is well designed in that it not only absorbs heat, but also prevents heat loss and energy expenditure. Because of the deer's coat's superior insulation and water resistance, you may have noticed that snow can accumulate on its back without melting. White-tailed deer are extremely sociable during the winter months, and their main focus is on healing from the rut. To better find food, they gather into herds. It only occurs during the winter, and it happens every year. Deer either appear in large numbers seemingly out of nowhere or vanish abruptly. You're right, those are two completely opposite scenarios. Of course, it still occurs. The term yarding has this immediate and consequential effect. There may be some who are confused by that. At the end of the day, it's the term for a large number of deer in a single location. Extreme cold and dwindling food supplies are the triggers. In a time of food scarcity, deer will congregate around any remaining scraps. The prevalence of snow makes this more typical of colder climates. Deer are able to make the most of their limited energy reserves by spending a lot of time in one location, where there is an abundance of food. The more of them there are, the better. When it's cold outside, animals' bodies, like ours, work harder to keep themselves warm. In the winter, deer typically seek out more protected areas to rest and feed, such as dense stands of coniferous trees, which keep their needles throughout the season and allow snow to build up, providing some wind resistance and possibly providing cover. In spite of the cold, a white-tailed deer's internal temperature stays at or slightly above 100 degrees Fahrenheit all year. The purpose of the winter coat is to provide insulation against the cold, while the summer coat shields the animal from the sun and helps it stay cool. Protection and warmth are provided by the winter coat's rough, hollow gar hairs, but the finer, wool-like hair underneath is where the real savings are. Outer guard hairs are shorter in number but larger in diameter and length. In addition to acting as a natural water repellent, they trap air. A minuscule sebaceous gland, responsible for producing sebum, is linked to each hair follicle. The sebum coating aids the hair in its ability to repel moisture. Winter deer yards can be found in abundance in cedar swamps. They act as a vital thermal cover and also shield us from damaging winds. During the colder months, the dark green foliage of conifer trees like cedar, red and white pine, spruce, and hemlock acts as a great thermal blanket. Red oak trees, which keep their brown leaves all winter, can also provide this kind of warmth. To better disperse the radiant heat, a light breeze or thermal current can help move the air around. Areas where deer can hide from predators or take refuge from the elements are essential for their survival during the harsh winter months. I've noticed that white-tailed deer become more accustomed to human presence in wolf-inhabited areas. White-tails now know that moving closer to people means less risk of being eaten by wolves. You may find it simpler to navigate snowmobile trails and plowed pathways. Thanks for your time. If you like us, please subscribe us.